Hi, this is Dr. Samaliazad. Uh, today I'm going to go over some of the anatomical structure associated with the uh, eye and go over some of the musculature and internal structure that we can find in the eye. So grossly when you're looking at the eye, the first you have to realize that which eye is this. This is a right eye. The reason that I can tell this is a right eye because of location of the nasal bone, also maxilla, not to mention the zygomatic bone here. The other thing that gives me the direction, presence of this bump, which is known as a lacrimal gland, which is located right on the lateral cantus or lateral corner of the eye. So if this is a lateral, this is a medial part of the nose that becomes the right eye. Now, eye composed of several extraocular muscles that allow us to move our eyes in different direction. One of them that helps me to open and close my eye is going to be this one. This is known as a levator palparis superioris muscle, which allow you to open your eye. If I remove that one and put it aside, now you can see the other musculature in your eye. Start naming them. We're going to start from the top. This is a superior rectus. This becomes a lateral rectus, this muscle here. This one becomes the medial rectus. And also, there is one sits right in this center here. This is known as the inferior rectus. Then we have two oblique muscles. You can see here, this is an oblique, this is a superior oblique muscle here. And the inferior oblique muscle, you can see here, it sits obliquely right in this section here. These are the six muscles that allow us to move our eyes in different directions. The other structure that are associated with the globe of the eye itself, number one, this white part is known as the sclera, or the white part of the eye that is visible. As we come to the center, you can see the cornea that is a little bit has a curvature on it. If I move the cornea a little bit to the side, underneath it, you can see there is a small opening. This is known as the anterior chamber of the anterior segment of the eye. Right in there, you can see there's a hole known as the pupil and also the iris, which is giving the eye coloration. Right behind this opening is going to be the lens of your eye. So I'm gonna remove this thing and open it up a little bit so we can discover it and talk about it a little bit more easier. So first thing, we have to remove these muscles so it makes it easier for me to be able to open these things and talk to you guys about it. Right. When I open this eye, okay, you can see the internal parts now. Okay, So we said that this section here was the anterior chamber of the anterior segment part. Then right behind the iris, this is a posterior segment of the anterior chamber. Then you have the lens, and from there this big cavity composed of the vitreous chamber. Looking at the internal part of the eye, you can see the composed of three layers. This one was the outer layer, uh, that was our sclera. Then you have this vasculature or the reddish structure right down the middle, known as the choroid layer, and almost, and the last layer, which is internally, you can see here the orange coloration is going to be the retina. If you realize, you can see the sclera goes all the way to the front, then turn itself into the cornea, and also you can see the choroid goes all the way to the front. But the retina does not reach all the way to the front. It only covers the posterior three-fourth of the cavity right on that part because there is no vision happening there. Then as you come back to the back of the eye, you can see here the optic nerve that produces uh, formation of it here and allow the transmission of the nerve information. Right in this here, I have the uh, fovea centralis and also the yellow spots sitting right alongside of it, not to mention all the vasculature there. 
The other thing is the part of the croid that comes all the way from there is going to be ending in this part which is known as the ciliary muscles. Ciliary muscle produce this extension known as the ciliary body which ultimately will come a little bit forward and is going to be producing the iris part of the eye. Now, right in the corner here, there are a couple of small holes. These are known as canal schlem. The canal schlem is going to be there because the fluid that is sitting with the anterior chamber and the vitreous chamber, if there's a pressure accumulates there, this channel where they're going to open up and allow some of the fluid to come out and from there is going to be reaching toward the outside. Now, the other stuff that also you can locate right alongside here are going to be at the extension right in this part are going to be the some fibers that connecting the ciliary body and ciliary process right into the lens. As you can see here, there are going to be, these are known as the zonal fibers that are sitting and attaching everything else to that side. Okay, that's pretty much, you know, the stuff that you can identify when you're looking at the eye model. I hope that you found it to be helpful, and thanks for watching.